So I got this subpoena from Twitter. Didn't Twitter subpoena your tweets? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait. This is a subpoena. I thought they're public. They are. <laughs> <laughs> These nitwits have Wachtell Lipton billing them at probably $2,000 an hour to subpoena tweets that are public. I mean, brilliant, brilliant strategy. But they sent me the broadest ever subpoena. It's like 30 pages of requests. <laughs> Now I got to hire a lawyer to go quash this thing because they basically want any of my communications with any of my friends over the last six months. It's insane. They say they want all documents and communications concerning your statement in a tweet dated April 16th that the, quote, new Twitter CEO checklist includes eliminate all bots and fire useless employees. Fifty <laughs> percent question mark. Uh, your statement in a tweet dated April 25th. Crazy thought. What if Jack masterminded this whole thing? Let me just save them time right now. I don't have documents and communications concerning my tweets. Now, I know to a lawyer at Wachtell Lipton that looking at my tweets and how brilliant they are, you may think <laughs> that I have extensive <laughs> documentation and source material for them. But let me tell you what happened. I went to go take a shit and I basically <laughs> tweeted off the cuff. And that's how that tweet ended up in the public record. There are no documents and communications concerning my tweets. Actually, I have one question. I have a follow-up question. Okay. During this movement that you had and you composed the tweet, is there any documentation of the movement? <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, next time that I compose a, a tweet on the yes. can, I will document it thoroughly and I will send it to the lawyers <laughs> okay. that walked out Lipton.